may be even closer than we dared to believe. U.S. Defense Secretary Leon Panetta testified before the Senate Armed Services Committee in June. In his testimony, Panetta discussed what he called Cyber Pearl Harbor. He told the Senate committee, I'm very concerned at the potential in cyber to be able to cripple our power grid, to be able to cripple our government systems, to be able to cripple our financial systems. It would virtually paralyze this country. As far as I'm concerned, that represents the potential for another Pearl Harbor as far as the kind of attack that we could be the target of. Last week, we got a little sample of what Secretary Panetta was referencing. Iranian hackers took control of a University of Michigan computer network during a widespread cyber attack on U.S. financial systems. According to reports by a leading Internet security monitoring firm, the cyber denial of service attacks against Bank of America, J.P. Morgan Chase, Citibank, and several other U.S. financial institutions began on October 8th. This is when hackers gained control of the university's College of Engineering network in Ann Arbor. Security analysts and recent news reports indicate that the suspected Iranian attackers are a group with government ties called the Is Adin al Kazam cyber fighters. U.S. officials have described the attacks as significant and ongoing and intended to cause functional and significant damage. Iran is extremely active in cyber warfare globally. It is blamed for the August attacks that devastated Persian Gulf oil and gas companies, including the Saudi Arabian oil company known as Saudi Aramco.